Up for sale from Redvale RV is this 1985 Ford Courier XLT three berth camper. Now this camper van has just been for a fresh war on a fitness and it passed with flying colors. As you can see, it's been really well cared for throughout its life. Just gonna go around the entire camper with this video and point out any defects and show you exactly what this camper van is. It's not often you see New Zealand built campers of this era still, still out and about. So seeing one in this condition puts a smile on my face. It's really funky. It comes with a brand new Warren of Fitness and fresh registration. It has a current electrical WAF. It has had a self-containment certificate in the past that has since expired. However, it's very easy to get a new one. I can direct you in the, in the right direction to get a new self-containment cert. It has an onboard water tank hot water cylinder just had new tyres put all round plenty of, plenty of tread on those it is a 2 litre petrol manual so it ain't going to win any races but the engine runs really strong as does the transmission I was told by the previous owner that you do need to check its oil routinely. But he just finished a trip around the South Island in it and it didn't miss a beat. Just go into the cab here. It comes with all the original manuals and a log book dating back to 1989 from when they bought it from the motorhome centre on the 8th of the 4th, 1989. It is a five speed manual. So it's doing about three and a half thousand revs at a hundred. It does do a hundred, but certainly not on a hill. Once you hit a hill, it definitely slows down. But it's not a race when you're on holiday, is it? We'll head on in. Side entrance door was built by CI Munro and Otrahonga. Step. Go into the kitchen. Does have a carpet mat in here. That's all really tidy in here. Is it impressively tidy? Plenty of storage. All matching. Wood grain. It's definitely a very period of 1985. Got a cabinet here. We've got the dinette area, which folds down to a double bed. Albeit a snug one. Sliding windows with fly screens on either side. It's really it's a nice place to be in here. Curtains all round. Does have a skylight, which I'll show you shortly. New Zealand PowerPoint. Kitchen, 12 volt fridge, gas hob. Push that, that little button there. Water comes out of there. Two burner stove. There's like a little uh, toaster oven thing under there, I'm pretty sure. Your wee fridge, this is 12 volt. And then you have a 230 volt heater here which is controlled from up here on the thermostat and here is a battery charger and all of your electrical safety gear etc etc 
Someone's put cigarette lighters in the back here, so you get 12 volt. A little curtain there that closes the cab off. We've got a single bed up the top and more storage forward of that. Probably put another child in there if you needed. It does have a curtain for up here as also. It comes with two cups with flowers on. I'll throw those in for free. Plenty of storage. The cab radio plays through that speaker out here. It does have a Bluetooth radio. Uh, the skylight winds up and down, works beautifully. Just a wee bit of tape there to hold the shroud up. This backlight here above the kitchen bench, the switch is a little bit dicky, so you have to click it a few times to get the light to stay on. Storage underneath both of these couches. We'll step back out and I'm gonna go around the outside of the vehicle, point out any marks that I find. So around this side here, of course, you're gonna have paint chips and things like that. The graphics are slightly faded along the side. Not that you can really tell. The steel rim wheels have had a black paint job, which is a wee bit average. Looks all right. It does have these roof rack system on it. As you can see, the black paint is faded. It does have this brilliant tub on the back here. The extra storage, and this has just had a respray, so it's looking great. I mean, things like a rope, wastewater pipes, engine oil, power lead, so you can plug this in when you get to your destination. Around the rear, that's tidy. It's all tidy, it's a little bit of fading. Come around to the driver's side, once again, faded pinstriping, not too bad. A couple of stone chips, a couple of minor dents. It's really pretty good. It's quite hard to pick it apart, actually. Around to the front. It's just had the front bumper re-sprayed black. Front grille is faded. There is a chips in the front there. They've just been painted over. Windscreen's in beautiful order. No chips. The roof's actually pretty tidy too. I'm just going to show you under the bonnet. Needs a vacuum. Pretend you didn't see that. Okay, let's see how good I am at opening this with one hand. Where is it? There it is. Now under here, there is some surface rust. You can see there, surface rust starting to appear. It wasn't flagged on the Warren of Fitness. We end up here on the underside of the bonnet. This is just all surface rust along there. So in the future, you might want to do something about that. It has dual batteries, house battery and a start battery. Which work well, battery's got plenty of life. It's an opportunity for someone to buy a really cool camper. It's viewing by appointment only. Give myself a call on the trade me auction. And we can arrange a time for you to come take it for a drive. Thanks for watching.